Hey everybody, it's me, I'm back. Well, yeah, 84 jerseys out, I'm back home. That's right, it's Big Anklevich, podcaster, author, and carnivore. And I haven't done videos for a pretty long time, but I'm back here to tell you uh, about what has gone on since I stopped, why I stopped, I suppose, and what I'm going to do here in the future. Okay, so, um, yeah, it's been a while, and it's been a weird while since I did my last video, but uh, I realized it's time that I need to get back to it. Uh, back when I decided to stop, I just, I, I found myself so overwhelmed with all the things that I was trying to do that I was having a really hard time keeping up, and I thought, you know what? These videos need to be the thing that I just let go. I'll stick with all the other stuff that I'm doing. Um, that, I don't know if that turned out to be a good idea. I think maybe I just needed to simplify the videos because since I stopped doing videos, um, maybe you can tell, I. <laughs> I regressed substantially. Um, I'm basically back to square one. Square one? Square zero? I don't know. <laughs> I'm back to the beginning uh, where I started from. In fact, I think I'm actually... Let's see. Here's the uh, my weigh-in just, just the other day. I am 1.9 pounds heavier than I was when I started last time around. So I came all the way back to square one, zero. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I realized that I need that accountability. You know, when I first started the channel, it was to have that accountability. And I thought that I was to the point where I would be just fine and I didn't have to have it. I was mistaken. I need the accountability. I need the comments from all the people who are there supporting me. Um, I, I just need that, that stuff to help keep me going. So the other day I stumbled upon a video on YouTube. It was the commercial. I guess I didn't stumble upon it. I, I was force-fed it, I guess. <laughs> Uh, a commercial from Dick's Sporting Goods. And, oh my gosh, there was something about it that just inspired the hell out of me. Um, let me show you the commercial real quick, and then I'll talk about it. So there you go. I, I'm not getting paid by dicks, unfortunately. But um, yeah, this is a commercial for, I guess, getting out and being active, which is something that I had stopped doing. Uh, I just wasn't feeling good. I was overweight and my everything was starting to hurt, especially my joints. And I watched that commercial and I remembered years ago, back in 2013, uh, I made a goal to run 500 miles in the space of one year. And I made my own videos that were really kind of similar to that one. Here's, here's a sample. <laughs>
and my gosh, I used to love going running. Uh, I stopped running because it got to the point where it just hurt all the time. Um, because I wasn't eating properly. I was just exercising. And that was just not a good plan. Um, I'm not sure how much I damaged myself because of that. I'm hoping that, you know, a long time of good eating will fix that. Um, but I need to stick with it for that to happen. Um, but anyways, I just, I had a longing for getting out and doing that stuff again. And I missed it and I, I wanted to get out and do that. And when I started thinking about exercise, uh, it made me realize that might have been my problem. Uh, because basically that when this whole COVID-19 thing began, I was doing just fine. I was yeah, having a few slip ups here and there, but I was doing just great. And then just the state of things got me so depressed, so down in the dumps that I turned to the thing that I always use to soothe my feelings. You know, I went back to the carbs, went back to the sugar, and you know, then I would try and get back to doing things right, but then I would go back to the carbs and the sugar, and then I would try again to get back to doing it right, and uh, you know, I just, it was a circle that just kept going over and over and over again until back where I started. And so frustrating, so super frustrating, and I started to think maybe that is my problem. Maybe I just needed something else that I can get my dopamine from. You know, Dr. Robert Sivas uh, talks about that. You know, when, you, when you're addicted to sugar, you know, that's what you use to deal with your emotional issues. And so you got to find something else. And I thought maybe I could turn things around if I just started to exercise as well as doing my regular diet that I've been doing all along. So I decided that's what I needed to do. And then the next day, I happened to see somebody who mentioned that they were doing a program called 75 Hard. 75 Hard is supposed to be a mental uh, strengthening, mental toughness uh, program. You know, it gives you hard things to do and you have to do them for 75 straight days. And once you've done that, you've developed some mental toughness to be able to deal with the problems that might come your way in life. Um, I checked it out. Uh, it's by this guy named Andy uh, Frisella, I think is his name. He's some bodybuilder guy. I, I think he's like a CEO of some kind of a supplement company. And he's also one of those dudes that's like, can't get through a whole sentence without saying the F word. Um, I don't know. I'm all for spicy language, but when there's more spice than there is food, the food doesn't taste very good anymore. Um, so anyways, the, 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 I think the guy should try a 75 hard program where the hard thing he has to do is not use the F word for a whole day. I wonder if he could manage. I don't think so. Uh, anyways, so the program has a few things that you have to do every single day. Uh, some of them aren't hard, some of them are. Uh, one is follow a diet, and you can choose your diet, so obviously I'm gonna choose the diet that I've been doing. Carnivore, alternate day fasting. Um, second thing is you have to do two 45 minute workouts every day. That's a lot of working out, but exercise I think is my problem so I'm thinking it's probably a good idea to do it one of those workouts has to be outdoors so that'll force you to be tough I guess and deal with you know rain or intense heat whatever it is uh, it, I get both of those here don't get snow so I don't have to worry about that but 
Rain and intense heat is uh, what I'll get doing outdoor workouts. Um, he wants you to drink a gallon of water a day, which truthfully, that's a little excessive. Um, if I could change anything with this program, it would probably be that because a gallon of water a day is a lot of water. Uh, it's funny that that's the thing that I would want to change instead of like, you know, what, how about a half hour workout? Um, but yeah, gallon of water. You have to take a progress picture of yourself every day. And then uh, I guess the one mental, mental thing is that you're supposed to read 10 pages of a book every day. Not just any old fiction book, but like something nonfiction that'll improve you. Some kind of improvement book. It doesn't have to be necessarily a self-improvement book. I don't think my plan is to read books on writing uh, and improving my writing skills. Um, and uh, yeah, you're supposed to do that every day, every single day for 75 days in a row. And if you do that, then you can say you completed 75 hard. You won. You're harder than the 75. I don't know. Um, and I thought, you know, that's not a terrible thing. I think I'm going to give that a shot. Because that's the other thing, you know, I listened to the guy's podcast uh, where he talked about it, you know, like I said, where he used a lot of F-words. And he talked about, you know, developing the toughness to be able to say no, you know. And, and even just doing something because it's hard. They're going to feel self-worth. They're going to have high self-esteem. They're not going to be afraid to go in the gym. They're not going to be afraid to do this shit. They're going to believe that they can accomplish hard things. See, the biggest problem most people have is they don't believe they can accomplish hard things because we're taught that we can't. If you want to get good at those things that we talked about, perseverance, grit, fortitude, you want to have confidence, you want to have the ability to endure, you want to have resilience, you want to be strong, you want to be tough, you want to be someone that commands respect, you've got to respect yourself first. And respect for yourself is earned, okay? And it's earned by doing hard shit. When you start to understand the shit that you can accomplish, and it's way beyond, because a lot of people are going to say, well, this shit's easy. This is easy. It is easy for one day. It's, it's real easy for two days. But what about 10 days in when you're like, dude, I got 65 more days of this shit. What about 20 days in and you're like, Dude, I got 55 more days of this shit. As humans, we have the, uh, you know, the evolution has, has taught us, you know, to avoid things that are hard. Uh, we kind of do our, our best to avoid that. And, but those people that are the most successful and that are the most happy are those people that don't run from a... Uh, a challenge you know and so doing something just because it's hard I guess there is some value I mean there's the John F. Kennedy thing where uh, the, the speech that he gave about going to the moon uh, let me play it we choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things not because they are easy but because they are hard because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win. Aside from his crazy freaking New Englander accent, that's a pretty cool quote, right? We choose to go to the moon in this decade, not because it is easy, but because it is hard. Um... Yeah, that's, that's something worthwhile to think about. Doing things because they are hard. If you do something because it is hard, then I guess, you know, it's like the old saying goes, what doesn't kill me just makes me tougher. If it doesn't kill you, it'll make you stronger. But if it kills you, you'll be dead. So if what kills you, then you're dead. So don't overdo things that are hard. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the hard thing, the 75 hard, in accordance with my diet. I don't know if I'll even stop at 75. We'll see where I'm at. 75 days, 
uh, is nowhere close to how many days I did my diet uh, before. Uh, I did some, I was getting close to a year when everything came to a screeching halt and I fell on my face and I got fat again. So uh, it's possible I may do 150 hard, 225 hard, I don't know, 365 hard. But uh, on September 8th, that was the first day that I did of 75 hard. And that was like four days ago, I'm on my fourth day. Um, and I'm gonna keep going. Uh, I'll make videos again. They're not gonna be like they were before where they have lots of stuff edited into them, text over the screen, all of that crap. I'm gonna skip. They're gonna be just things that I do um, straight up and then I post. Uh, and, and I'll do short ones and I'll post them more frequently. Um, and that's, uh, that's my plan going forward. This is the last video you'll see with a lot of editing for a long time. Probably when I get to the end of this first 75 of my 225 hard. <laughs> when I get to the end of that, I'll probably do some kind of a video uh, celebrating my accomplishment and then moving on. Um, but, uh, but yeah, um, from here on out, I'm going to do videos, but they're going to be simple, straight up, like this, like me just talking to the camera, and then boom, post, enjoy if you do. <laughs> so that is what I have in the future, and, you know, I'm back at it. Well, yeah, 84 jerseys out. I'm back home. And I'm back at my goal. I'm starting over from square one, zero. Starting over from the starting line and uh yeah uh, i've i've got to get back to that grindstone and i'm back on the trail heading to wonderland i'm going to get there well yeah 84 jerseys out this is gonna be a fun ride no matter how many hard things i have to do to do it i will go to wonderland again some time within the next 365 days or less. So we're off and running. And hopefully I'll see you guys here again as I make all my other videos. Thanks for watching.